me and I have to deal with all that shit in high school. Oh, by Sick. the way, here in my lunchroom, fun story. The okay. feminist club, aka all teachers in my school that hated Trump, put up, we need feminism or some shit. What was it? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. It was women or people too. We need feminism. So me and a bunch of buddies changed it to men or people too. Fuck feminism. That is amazing. What's, what's even more funny, to make my principal even sound cooler, he helped us. My, like, when I say my principal was the coolest, he was the fucking coolest. What's the He was an ex-army vet. He was fucking dope, man. He would tell us, like, war stories <coughs> and shit. It was cool. I loved pitching. And it was fucking good. I still got fucking good curves and shit. Um, with it, let's just jump to the good shit, because I know no one wants to hear about what the fuck I played and shit, other than pitcher. Only team, I gotta say, only team that I respect because I like the coach and I like the players. Only game. Every other game fucking sucked. Football sucks. I played basketball for a year, that sucked. Oh, yeah. High school yeah, basketball is the worst. It, it's too fucking competitive to be a high school sport. Like, I'm sorry, but it's too fucking competitive. You know, like, even football is not that bad. It was again. Uh, a and B again, so my school system and now a neighboring school system within the same district. Again, my my side's A for all context, and their side's B. Um, they had good players, we all had good sportsmanship, but uh, their coach was a complete fucking asshole. Like, how so? Like, I, how so? I pitched and fucked up once and he called me a piece of shit that should never touch a fucking baseball again in my life. He was basically being bad sportsmanship 101 every fucking turn of the way. He used, he basically cursed every fucking time like he was in the major leagues. He talked bad shit whenever the schools would have like make interviews and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Like, we didn't have newspapers, we had a news channel in our fucking school. Cause newspapers were outdated. To be honest, I'd rather have listened to read a fucking newspaper than heard that bitch's voice every day. This girl, monotone as shit, man. Never mind that. We're gonna we're gonna skip over the news channel thing, okay? Okay. No, you, I need you. You're the worst. Yeah, pretty much. That's what this baseball person said. Okay, so let's get to the juicy shit. All right. The score was 13 to 20, me winning, right? Okay. Like, my team winning, A winning. B was kind of salty about this, but it was fine because we were all friends. Most of my friends were actually in B si the B school system, so it really didn't fucking matter, you know? Let's go back. So, yeah, it was 13 to 20, we were winning. This coach got so fucking salty that uh, my girlfriend at the time was standing on that team because that's the only side, like her brother was part of B. Someone told the other coach that she was my girlfriend. And the shit that came out of that guy's mouth nearly got him killed that day. I I'll give you a brief, and we're not dating anymore for other reasons, but you know, she was fucking glad that she still talks to me about the day I defended her. Um, fucking word one. How is it to date a slut, Steven? Oh my god. Steven, you're so- You're a fucking- uh, What was it? Your girlfriend sucked my son's dick for twenty dollars. How does that make you feel? And just like- You guys ever seen the Jaxie Robinson movie, right? Yeah. You, you know when he's just getting called the N-word and he holds the bat like he's gonna go beat the fuck out of people? Yeah. What was his number 42, right? It was the 42 movement? Yeah, I think so. So, um, basically, you know the scene when he goes into the locker room hall and beat, and breaks his fucking bat? That happens for, like, three bats. And, um, it wasn't just one hit. I beat the fuck out of everything in that room. And I didn't just go in the hall. I beat the fuck out of my locker room. Like, my locker was not existent anymore. Jesus. To keep me from killing him. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, and then, uh, this, I believe, ah. until next round to continue. Fuck you, Swagger, you should <laughs> Sorry. So after about three, <clears throat> luckily, <coughs> I'm one of those people that I take too much equipment with me during my games. Yeah. So I had, like, five bats with me, or some shit. One through four. Plus my practice, which is my sixth one that I carry. Fifth bat, 
I literally had to call a timeout before what this guy said, and I walked over, fucking with bat in hand, which the other team nearly had to stop me from beating the fuck out of this guy. I remember these words too fucking well Nigga, to be still sane. I can't shut the fuck up so I can tell my story, asshole. Shit. Okay, so what are you guys okay. talking about? Baseball stories. Now shut up, you're interrupting. Talking about how I nearly me, killed someone. Okay, so back to the story. story. Here yeah. are the words that nearly made me kill this man. Your girlfriend's such a fucking slut, I hope she cuts and gets cancer and dies of ugliness. Because that's what she's doing right now. What the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know, and he was a lead coach. What the f- He was salty as fuck, and he just hated me. Because I, I was fucking good, you know? You know when coaches get pissed because their players aren't as good as you, right? Yeah. That, that was him. Um, but on a massive scale. Which is weird, because before I joined the team, I was actually good friends with this guy. I'm not good friends, but like, I wasn't as pissed as I am now, because I still hate him. I, I would assume so. Yeah, so I walked over with my bat. So I walk over, the ref didn't want to get involved, because his thought, he even told me after the game, he's like, I thought of getting involved, but you seem so fucking dedicated to killing that man, I didn't want to step in front of you. Just let that sink in. <laughs> that was my face. <laughs> I was so dedicated to kill him. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, so I walk over, and her brother was there, who's the same age as me. She, he stopped me, and he's like, don't do shit, you're gonna regret. I'm like, Jeff, get the fuck out of my way. So I pushed him past, I walked over to the coach, and I put my bat on his fucking chest. And I'm like, the next words that come after, out of your mouth will fucking come out of your ass, because that's where your teeth are gonna end up. Damn. He then said, why don't you do it, you fucking pussy. So then, this is why I love their new main coach. Their secondary coach started to beat the fuck out of this guy. And I was so happy. Wait, the other way the other coach is beating the fuck out of him? Yeah, Sorry. yeah, the other coach on their team got so pissed and started to beat the fuck out of him. Oh my god. I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> Like, how did you start laughing? You were pissed two seconds ago. I'm like, because that fucking got what he deserved. Here's the best. We had a cop during this fucking uh, thing that actually arrested the coach that was screaming all the shit and not the one that beat the fuck out of the guy. Oh my the god. Second, the secondary coach became primary and the other guy went to jail for abusing a minor or some shit. I forget the actual charge. But yeah, it was when I was like 17 or some shit. Uh, like two days before my birthday, um, but yeah, other coach beat the fuck out of him. He had a broken nose, a leg fracture, and I believe his arm was dislocated. Jesus Christ. Um, not to mention he was fired and put on the list that says he's never coached nor teach in high school or anything ever again. Jesus fucking Christ. So, basically, this guy is suspended from coaching for life. His dream was to become a major league coach. So, uh, yeah. Um, there was that guy, and then there was the student one, but the student one wasn't as insane. It was just the guy tired of the guy's voice, so I walked over and told him to shut the fuck up before I hit him with my car accidentally. Fuck you, banana. Yeah. Banana's out here trying to replace you in life. Yeah, seriously, I'm gonna have to fucking join the enemy team then. Some shit. But yeah, yeah, that's that story. When wow. dude got suspended. Where's my wandy? There you go. Uh, what are the stories? 